Hi, my name is Dorothy Evelyn. I'm a Jawad teacher and also a tutor on the accredited Jawad belly dance training courses. In this video, I want to go over some of the technique for elegant stepping or elegant walking. Um, now, it might just seem very straightforward to do a walk, um, but it's getting that bit on there so that it becomes more than just walking in a dance context, but actually that you can use it to convey the feeling of that particular song that you're dancing to or that feeling in the music that you want to kind of show. So we'll start by just standing in our normal position and even though it's just walking, we're still kind of sucking up and in, letting our tailbone melt down to the floor and let our legs align beautifully, ankle, knees and hip bones. We are lifting up nice and tall and the shoulders go back on to the back where they belong. So when stepping, you could just literally step on a flat foot. But because I've called this elegant stepping, we're going to try and, and do it a bit more elegantly. And the best way is maybe to think of a cat, if you're a cat person. If not, you'll have to think of something else elegant, a Disney princess or something. Um, but instead of leading with the heel, I'm going to lead with the toe of my foot. So what I'm really doing is I'm really making sure that I lengthen my foot as much as possible. And that means that I get that lovely line in my foot, um, a bit like a, like a ballet dancer, if you like. And as I bring my big toe into the floor, I just let the movement travel through my foot as I step forwards. Because I've engaged my core, balance will not be an issue, even if I take my time. So I'm nice and strong. I'm really arching out so that I touch the floor with my big toe. It's reaching the floor a lot sooner than it normally would. And I'm letting the movement travel through my foot. Now, when we're dancing, we haven't got time to think of every single bone in the foot touching down. But when you're practicing it, you might want to think about it. Your feet are very, very complex. You've got lots of little bones in there, lots of ligaments holding it all together. And thinking of the movement traveling down through your foot as you're stepping onto it, really pay attention to how that movement goes through. Think of it maybe, instead of an undulation of the spine, as an undulation of your foot, a nice little rolling movement that comes down, but without the big toes coming up at the end. So we're stepping forwards and on the other foot, stepping forwards and stepping forwards and stepping forwards. Now you want to make sure also that you're not lifting your legs up because otherwise it's more Monty Python than, than elegant dancing. So you want to step out and have your toes relatively close to the floor. And as you step onto the other one, and as you're practicing it, you might even want to drag your big toe. But it just needs to lift up from the floor a tiny bit before you step. So we can drag and step, drag and step. And when you're dancing, you might want to use that as well, or you might cut the dragging out and just step, 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 step. But thinking very elegantly, almost as if you were a ballet dancer, Ballet, not belly, and stepping. And all the times keeping the tension there, keeping yourself nice and lifted. And it means that you've got, even though I've got very short legs, we're extending the leg by allowing that foot to kind of point the toe in. So it's an elongation of the leg. And thinking, nice and lifted in the body as you're stepping as well. You might want to think of stepping on a straight line. 
and that will give it a nice straight feeling, slightly sexy thing as you get a rotation in your hips at the same time. If you're just stepping normally, that's not quite going to happen. So you need to focus on an Im imaginary line on the floor, if you like, that you can follow around. And we're walking on that straight line. It's not 100% straight, and you might also find that you're kind of, if you are walking on a tightrope and, and you were um, literally walking on a line, your feet might be going a tiny bit like that. You want to avoid pointing your toes out, but at the same time, you want to try and keep it as straight and uh, and elegant as possible. Now, you might want to make it more sexy than elegant. Well, again, then you can maybe step across, get more of an emphasis going in the hips. And if you pivot on the ball of your foot, you'll allow your hips to swing even more. You can obviously also play up anything in the music to make it a bit more sexy if you like. Um, the same goes for elegant. You can pick up things in the music to make it more elegant and think nice and lifted or nice and sexy. And obviously, the more we bend our knees and sit down, again, that helps with making it look more sexy than elegant. But those are the little accents that you add to your walking. Um, what's the difference between elegant walking and strong walking? Well, it's down to your interpretation of it. So if it's more of a strong, proud feel you're after, it's very much like elegant walking. I just like to think of the focus being in my tummy. Um, so I have more of a feeling of being, I don't know, proud warrior, but I'm still female, so I'm still doing elegant stepping on my feet, but I project strength instead. Or elegant light as a princess, light as a cat stepping, or a bit more sexy. Let's try variations of that with a bit of music. So we'll get our posture first of all, and we'll start very elegantly by dragging the feet feeling the floor opposite shoulder to foot can add more emphasis without the drag but still walking And again. Nice and strong. So less focus on the feet, but really nice and powerful projection. And maybe a tiny bit more sexy, so. More hips. Sexy walk, so really sway those hips. Still leading with the toes, really crossing the feet. We can walk behind.
strong. So focus here. Elegant. Really taking care of every footstep or even walking backwards. So if I walk forwards, it's from the big toe and through the foot. If I walk backwards, opposite, my big toe is the last thing that leave the floor. I can add a bit of an undulation onto that. Either walking forwards or backwards. So there's a bit of playing around with elegant stepping, strong stepping, sexy walking, whatever you want to call it. Have, happy playing around with that and happy dancing. <laughs>